Greetings everyone, TJB Chris here. Welcome back to the channel and check out my work area. I did some consolidation and now I have a nice little work area for stuff again. Woohoo! Anyway, today we are going to take my Color Computer 2, which has a partially malfunctioning keyboard, and we're going to upgrade the keyboard without replacing it. And we're going to do that with this wonderful little thing here, the Coco 2 Key Fix 2. And this actually is going to let me keep the original keyboard bezel and keys, but replace the crappy Mylar backing, which is starting to wear somewhat permanently, with mechanical switches and a new board. So we're going to get this thing apart. I'm going to pop the keyboard open here and put the new one, the new board on the back of it. We're going to put this thing back together and we're going to try it out. And if you've seen this thing in previous videos like Deload or others, I used a Coco 3 keyboard in it, but um, I have a Coco 3 I want that in, and I would like to keep this uh, as stock looking as possible. So let's get to it. All right, let's take a look at the key fix too. And I'm going to try and keep myself out of the shot as much as possible here. So came with uh, screws and some other bits. And nice high quality edge connector. These are, this is a cool board. Look at this. We got switches galore and light flickering. I got new lights in here. I'll have to show you that at the end. Up, down, all these nice little things. This should keep the original feel of this keyboard and be really nice. And elsewhere, we also have in the envelope, we have instructions. And then that one side. See, that's how easy it is. One side. And we have a set of screws. So let's get the Coco 2 apart. We'll get the old keyboard out and then we'll get this together. Always important for Coco folks, note the different lengths of the screws. Let me see them. This one's longer than this one. These long ones are for the back. If you put them in the front, you're going to get little dimples in your case. And nobody likes little dimples in their case. All right, old keyboard comes out pretty simply enough. Simply detach the mylar here. You just grab it with both fingers and gently pull up. The keyboard lifts away. Okay, let's get the cocoa out of here for the moment and see what we can do about getting it apart, keyboard apart. All right, so just have to pull the back screws out. There's quite a few of them, and then I'll show you what the mylar looks like in there. So let's take a look here. Screws are off. Uh, time has passed. We now have bourbon. Uh, I'll take off the metal cover here. Well, I'm just going to lift off the thing now. You have to be careful. This is the mylar, and it's attached with a couple of uh, sticky things here. And you can, you can peel it open. It just kind of comes apart. But it's just this sandwich layer of mylar here with a little thing in between it. There's three layers here. And over time, this wears out. And you can fix it with a conductive paint pen. But sometimes that works better than others. I use nickel paint pens on these. But um, some of the keys are not working. And they do eventually fail. They, I just, they weren't designed to last that long. The big thing you have to be careful about here is that all these springs and keys and things are easy to spill. And once you do, woe is you. So you have to be careful. And the green screen, uh, green screen, the green spring is for the space bar. So just keep that in mind. So that's the back of the Coco keyboard. We'll see if I can get a close look without dumping my springs out. There you go. la di -dotty. Now the instructions point out a very important bit. And that is, I don't want to do it on the table here because it's going to push up on the keys and it's going to make it hard to line it up. So the case is actually the best way to do this. So I'm going to weigh this down with something. But I need to hold this down and use it because this way I can put the key, the, the key fix board on here and it should line up. I'll get a couple of screws in, make sure everything lines up, and then we'll go from there. All right, I found a block. <laughs> this is a giant concrete block and it will do just perfectly use what you have okay so let's try this out I'm gonna try and lie this on here there's a there's post standoffs on the board and what I want to do is line it up and just kind of set it straight down and give it a push make sure I hear keys hitting all right let's put a few initial screws in and see what we get. And for this, the unscrewing was a lot of unscrewing. So to combat that, we're going to use the gun. 
All right, screw in done. One very important note for this. The instructions are clear on this. You don't bottom the screws out and put it snug to the keyboard frame like you are the, the plastic put, like you would have with this and the Mylar. So what you have to do instead is you have it separated a bit and the screws don't go all the way down. You don't, you don't push it in there some play. And that, if you get it too far, what will happen is the keys won't work right like that. Apparently I'm a little too tight there, the case stuck a bit. So I'll make sure I didn't over tighten one of these, but um, otherwise what will happen is like that, it won't work right. But I can hear the key switches going, most are coming. So I think spacebar seems good, keys all seem good. So um, except for K, so I'm going to give this a little tweak, make sure I didn't over tighten one of these. And then we're going to plug it into the Coco 2 and try it out. All right, let's put this in. Uh, one thing the instructions note is the keyboard may not fit with these rubber things here. So I'm going to pull them out because I imagine it's a matter of thickness. This board is thicker than the old one. So we're just going to put this on here. Yep, that's good. I imagine it wouldn't have fit with the other bits there. I'll just go in storage, connector. OK, let's see if this works. All right, moment of truth. Okay, well, the computer boots I have a one. Good. Now, for the keys that don't display anything, if the cursor flashes yellow like this, you can see it just keeps doing that. That's good. All right, there we go. Hello, you rummy buzzard. What we have here is now my original Coco 2 keys and bezel working with a new keyboard board underneath. And this means my Coco 2 can now look stock like it's supposed to. So let's get her back together. And here we are back together, Color Computer 2 with a keyboard with a new, newly installed key fix 2. And we have Coco SDC connected, so let's see what we've got on here. Hey, Puyan, let's do that. And it sounds a lot like the original color computer keyboard, except you can hear the key switches underneath, which is pretty cool. Much more durable, much nicer than the Mylar keyboard sheet, and it's working great. And the K key, as you can tell, is working fine. The problem with that was I had over tightened a screw with a screw gun. I hadn't quite bottomed it out, but it was enough that it uh, made the key a little off kilter. It didn't work. So anyway, that is pretty much it. That install was really easy. I highly recommend you pick up a key fix too, or the Color Computer 3 version, the Keyfix 3 if you have one. The board comes in a couple of flavors, one with the key switches on it like I bought, and then there's another version that just has the board itself and you can select your own key switches. You can do, I think you can do through hole switches and you can do um, surface mount. So you have a lot of options with this in terms of what kind of switches and how you mount them and things. And I went ahead and picked a, one up for one of my Coco 3. I have uh, a bunch of Coco 3s. I know these Mylars aren't going to last forever. so. I'm going to put a link in the video description to the key fix. If you want the stock look and feel of your color computer, you want the key fix keyboards. So that's going to do it. I am TJB Chris, and I'm going to celebrate this victory with a little port cask finished bourbon. Just a sip. Just a sip. Mm, mm, mm. God, that's good. All right. So until next time, I am TJB Chris. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the feedback, comments everything. I really appreciate it. And next up, we'll probably have a little treat for the Model 16, and we're going to start the TJB Shopping Network again. So stay tuned.